we'll be looking at some key differences between a circuit in series and a circuit in parallel. Let's start with an example of a circuit in series. In this example, we have a battery that's connected to three light bulbs. Each light bulb in this circuit is connected end to end. If we imagine a single charge passing through this circuit, we can see that it would pass through every single part or light bulb in this circuit. This is a characteristic of series circuits. Now, if we compare this to a circuit of all of the same components, but connected in parallel, we can see a key difference. Let's imagine that same single charge passing through this parallel circuit. That single charge will only pass through one branch or one of our bulbs in our parallel circuit each time it passes through the circuit. In our example parallel circuit, each bulb has its own branch or connection to the voltage source or battery. Whereas in the series circuit, all of our bulbs were connected together and had the same connection to our battery. It's also important to note that how each of these components are connected to each other changes the overall or total resistance in our circuit. If we were to run an experiment on our series circuit and added more and more light bulbs to that circuit, we would see a change in the brightness of our bulbs. The more bulbs we add to that series circuit, the dimmer they all become. This highlights the fact that as we add more bulbs to our circuit, we're increasing the total resistance of that circuit. This causes the total current in our circuit to decrease. This can be stated another way. As the resistance increases in a series circuit, the overall current decreases. We can see this relationship in Ohm's law, which states that the voltage is equal to the current times the resistance, or V equals I times R. After we isolate the I or the current in this equation, we can see that as we increase the resistance in a circuit, we decrease the current. In order to determine the total resistance of a series circuit, we simply add all of the resistance values to each other. For example, in our circuit, if two of the bulbs have a resistance of 8 ohms and one has a resistance of 2 ohms, we would simply add 8 ohms plus 8 ohms plus 2 ohms. This gives us a total resistance of 18 ohms for our series circuit. Another key thing to note about a series circuit is if we remove any one of the bulbs, the entire circuit goes dead. The electrical current can no longer flow if one of the components is missing. If all of the appliances in your kitchen, your refrigerator, your oven, your microwave, and even the lights were attached in series, then if any one of them were turned off, none of them would work. So in the case of having a series circuit in your kitchen, to run your refrigerator, you would have to have the lights on, and you would have to have the oven on, and you would have to have the microwave on. So clearly, a series circuit is not what we have in our homes. Let's now look at the resistance in a parallel circuit. Again, if we follow that single charge as it moves around our example parallel circuit, we can see that it has multiple paths or multiple ways it can move around the circuit and each single charge will only pass through one bulb on its way around the path. Parallel circuits have an unexpected feature that as we add more and more resistors in parallel, we actually increase the overall current in that circuit. Because of Ohm's law, the same is also true that as we add more and more resistors, we're actually decreasing the total resistance for that circuit. Let's take a look at how we calculate total resistance in a parallel circuit. To calculate the total resistance in a parallel circuit, we add the reciprocal of the resistance of each resistor, and then we take the reciprocal of that total. This can be shown in the following equation. So let's calculate the total resistance of our initial parallel circuit. If we assume that we have the same resistors in our parallel circuit as we did in our series circuit, we will add 1 over 8 ohms plus 1 over 8 ohms plus 1 over 2 ohm. And then we will take the reciprocal of that value. This gives us a total resistance value of our parallel circuit of 2 ohms. This is a major difference in the overall resistance as compared to our series circuit, which had a resistance of 18 ohms. So as we can see, as we add more and more resistors to our parallel circuit, we actually decrease the total resistance of that circuit and therefore increase the overall current in that circuit. A final and very important feature of our parallel circuit is 
that if we remove any of our single bulbs, all of the other bulbs will continue to stay lit. If we apply this to the same analogy of our kitchen, it means that we can run any one of those appliances by itself, whether or not the others are on or off. Clearly, parallel circuits are what we have in our homes.